Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 2 in this new Did You Know series as we take a look at 5 things you might not know in WWE 2K19. As always, if there's anything you'd like to suggest to be covered in this series, then please do leave a comment below and you could get a shout out in the next episode. Did you know it's possible to enable alternate playable manager models for Lana and Dana Brooke? This one comes from Revolution, who reveals that despite not being playable by default, it's actually possible to use the alternate long-haired manager model of Lana and the Titus Worldwide manager model of Dana Brooke as playable alternate attires. To do this, what you want to do is load up Create a Superstar and choose the WWE Superstar option, then scroll through and select either Lana or Dana Brooke. Upon selecting either star, you'll be asked which model you would like to edit with options for their base or manager attire, so choose the manager option and press select. On the next screen, choose your superstar's first attire and then press select and choose edit attire. On this screen, select attire type and then change the option from manager to superstar. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and make any changes to the attire that you wish, therefore I'm going to add Lana's wrestling attire by going to the import attire option and then selecting her regular models in ring attire, which then adds it to this this one, giving you an updated Lana that you can now save as an alternate attire to use in matches. So now that your creation is ready, head on over to the selection screen where you can find your new alternate model listed as an alternate attire for the playable version of your chosen superstar. Look who's here! The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and from Moscow, the Ravishing Russian, Lana! Did you know that Tyler Bate has a special bob and bang strike move which works differently to all others? This one is a pretty cool one for fans of NXT UK star Tyler Bate, as 2K have added his bop and bang strike move to the game. However, rather than work like any other regular strike that sees the full animation play, should you use the strike when you're too far away from an opponent, only the first part of the animation will play, which resembles a taunt as Bate throws up bop in the air. However, should your opponent come closer, then using the same move will see bop followed with bang as the strike connects. Did you know that the Enforcer from WWE 2K16 is featured in My Career Mode? This one comes from Sam Pulse, who spotted a really cool easter egg in My Career Mode, as should you take a look at the referee during your first match in BCW, then you may recognise him from WWE 2K16's 2K Showcase Mode, as the model used for the referee is the same model that 2K used as a stand-in for Mike Tyson after they were unable to assign him to appear in the game following his previous appearance in WWE 13. Did you know that there is an unused trio entrance for Absolution? This year in WWE 2K19, we see in the debut of newcomers Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville, who upon debuting on the main roster, teamed up with Paige to create the group known as Absolution. However, due to Paige's in-ring retirement and appointment as the general manager of SmackDown Live, Absolution were disbanded and no longer appear as one of the default teams in the game, leaving this new unused Absolution entrance that you might not be aware of. God's greatest creation! And the rest of Absolution are here. Yeah! I have never seen you become so mesmerized by one person, Corey. I have never seen a person like Mandy what Rose. Oh, what about Sonya Deville? Yeah, she's cool too. MMA background, of course, Paige. Uh, the youngest woman in history to win a championship. In case you're unaware, this is her house. How'd you get in here, Saxton? I walked in the front door. Did you know it's possible to make all managers playable, including Zelina Vega and Drake Maverick? This one comes from The Direction Gaming, who reveals that despite certain managers such as Zelina Vega and Drake Maverick not being playable by default, this year, as of version 1.01, .01, it's now possible to create alternate attires for all managers and use them in matches, providing you turn off the option to save them as an alternate attire. To do this, simply head into Create a Superstar and choose the WWE Superstar option, then select the manager that you want to make playable. Next up, all you need to do is select the Personal Information tab and then set the User's Alternate Attire option to No. Upon doing this, you'll see this message notifying you that the first attire of your creation will now be saved as a superstar rather than a manager, which upon pressing Yes and saving the changes, then your new playable manager will be available for selection in matches by going to Custom Creations. Could end it in a hurry. So 
So much force behind that power bomb. So there you go, that was five more things you might not know in Dota 2K19. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I would love it if you could drop it a like to show your support, as well as leaving a comment below to let me know what you made of today's features, and if there's any other secrets, hints, or easter eggs that you think I should cover. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Did You Know episodes, and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified the second a new video drops. Until next time though, all that's left for me to say is I hope you've enjoyed this video, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.